Okay guys, so take a deep breath and just look at that. Mm. Inhale that a bit. Look at the bliss. Look look at the, the ambience like already. This is sweet. Okay, so we've made it to Ashesi University, okay? And we've come with Anita from Sogakofa. We are changing the story. Well, we're giving Anita more options to decide whether or not she would want to go to UHAS to study midwifery or to come to Ashesi to do any program of her choice, particularly in engineering. Anita is here. I'm here. I wish I could become a student again and come back and do something. And most importantly, I wish I had a science mind so I can come and do something scientific. But there's no hope for me. But we are bringing Anita here so we can give her options. So we're going to work in there. We'll meet a fantastic young man. He will take us around, tell us what offer Ashesi has for Anita. And then we see how it goes. What do you think? Should Anita choose Ashesi or we should try Yuhas? Her childhood dream, midwifery. Come along. Okay, so this is the man we're coming to see. Okay. He will take us around. Just, just look at this. Crazy. Crazy. Man. Bro. Mr. Guda. Bro. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome to Ashesi. Tell you are in a little heaven. Aqua, 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 aqua. Yeah, that's it. And meet Anita. That's it. How are you? Fine, thank you. Anita, nice, the sir. Abolo seller. The famous. Yeah, with this, the this, this one has made you a famous person. Yeah, the, I, I don't know she knows. <laughs> I'm not sure she knows, but yeah, we are really happy to be here. Thank you for inviting us to come. No problem. This looks good. Anita is struck already. Like it's really beautiful. So what do you have to show us? Yeah, come, 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 come okay. along with me. President. The president of the university. Did you call Patrick. him president? Yes. Uh, Patrick Ewa. Patrick Ewa. So Ooh. students get to ask him, okay, how is this? When is this coming? Really? When is that happening? Yeah. So he presents, you know, university finances, how things are going. Similar to how State of the Nation would, would work. Wow. But in this case, students get to ask, ask him questions, questions. Um, to, to the president. How does that um, sound like? How does that come to you? <laughs> when you're in SHS, was your headmaster doing that? Yeah. He, he, did, that, he did that from time to time. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Good. That's right. good. Let's, let's go ahead. That's good. How, so how do you how do you describe this to your mama when you go back home? Okay. Yeah. I yeah. can die in a hole. Ah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me not disturb everyone else. But but it's it's designed this way so that you can see. Wow. We have the short to projector system. There's a multimedia system built in. Cool. Um, so you can play video. Cool. Uh, play some new sound. Let's see. That. Um, so there's a few classrooms like this. We have different classroom con right. con configurations, but depending on the, the nature of the class, mm -hmm. it could be scheduled here. Okay. And this, this is typically for classes where there's a lot of interaction. Interaction. Okay. It's more conversation between the faculty and the students than lecture. Like right. And the typical class size here, um, you may find between 40 to 60 students. 40 to 60. On average, typical class size. And we have some larger cool. classes. It means that unlike Legon, where you have about 1,500 students in a class and the lecturer does not know you by the time you are done in four years, mm -hmm. the lecturer will get to know you over here and you'll know your colleagues Correct. and you have great Correct. interaction. Correct. That sounds good, doesn't it? Mm, sounds good. I like it's the okay. idea. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's exactly the point. It's a lot of you know, people get a chance to really Interact. Speak up, interact, mm. build their um, confidence, get help, everything. build confidence, mm. etc. All of that. Ashesi has something we call an honor code system. And so, in exams here, students envisage themselves. Okay. We don't have professors, lecturers in the classroom. We sign, students sign a pledge and basically say, I myself will not cheat, but I also make sure that my colleagues don't cheat. So, if wow. someone cheats, yeah. it's the responsibility of people in the class to report to that person. Right. The idea is if um, one day when you are uh, president of Ghana, um, we may have all the checks and balances in the world, but if the, the leader doesn't have their own moral compass, mm -hmm. no policing system can, can, check, can yeah. stop a cheat. Mm -hmm. right? And so you want to help people build the courage to do the right thing, but also the people that surround that person you want to teach them the courage to be able to, when something is going wrong, to say, I think this is not what we should be doing, we should stop it. Okay. 
mm. right? And so we have a very big emphasis on ethics of character. And it's one of the things that um, Ashesi's, Ashe, and Ashesi students are, are very wow. respectful for. Okay. So this is the first building we put up for engineering. The, the Bob and Dorothy Kane Engineering <laughs> Building. And you, did you see that? Yeah. Houses, it's slabs. Tiny. This looks like some Greek set of Houses, classrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Um, guys, come and have a look. <laughs> So we'll go this way. I think we should go this way then come okay. back. This is, a, this is a fountain or something? It's a fountain, uh, but it's been switched off. Yes. But it's a fountain. Chai, this so thing looks sweet, man. Look at that. Okay. Some excellent masterpiece. Eh? Yeah. And I think we're, we're always proud to remind people that the, and I think it speaks to what's possible, right? The, the architects who designed this place are Ghanaian. Okay, and then the contractors, all the people who built all the buildings here are Ghanaians. There's not a single Obroni here in building this place. We may have imported some equipment, some right. tools, but the people who, who led and built this project are all Ghanaian. Is this looking like a school or it's like a hotel or something? Like a hotel? Gee! <laughs> Just kidding. But this looks good, I mean. It looks good. Yeah, but so come and ask him. I mean, the environment is great yeah, and everything. So what are the courses they offer? And so I think I can be in the yes, middle, so how do things look like? You want to ask him that? Please, what are some of the courses you offer? So we do, it's three main buckets. There's business, um, computer science and information systems, and the engineering. Right, so business administration, I don't know if you're familiar with business administration, but if you're thinking of um, the administrators and managers who run. So if you take Caleb's workplace, mm -hmm. there's a journalist, yeah. and then there's the, the operations manager, yeah. there's the HR person, there's mm -hmm. a person who makes sure that Caleb's salary is paid on time, Very nice the finance true. people. All of those people sit under the business administration. Okay. Right? okay. That's good. Computer science and management. Especially money. Systems. Money issues. <laughs> Transactions. The computer science people are the ones who write the software that powers this phone. Right. Okay. So the software, the applications, the WhatsApps. Uh, do you use WhatsApp? Do you know WhatsApp? She uses a yam. A yam. Mm -hmm. Yam phone. So she doesn't have. Uh, so don't so, confuse us. We so better. The, the smartphone. <laughs> who built the smartphone? Yeah. Um, the the ones who write the the tools that power this phone. Right. Are the computer science people. Right. Okay. The engineering people. I mean, where do I even begin? Engineers are involved in. In cars, engineers are involved in They buildings. build essentially. Engineer, they, they build things yeah. from uh, bicycle all the way to aeroplane. Engineers are the ones who, who think through how do we make this thing work as a machine, right? Okay. And so there's a wide range of engineers, even the road we are on, right? The civil engineering folks, they are the ones who come and determine this, you know, how durable. Uh, can this road be? What do we need to do to make sure that can this I, road Can I interject? Yeah. I'm beginning to regret it all. <laughs> you know, Phoebe was on my case. <laughs> that I should come to Ashesi. <laughs> then I said, Ashesi, for the mini dollars, go. Mm -hmm. Can you regret? One more question? You see, yes. The, the, the thing about pathways, right, is you can always look back and think, oh, I'm coming here, I'm coming here, I'm coming here. But what we should do is, oh, like Anita, is, okay, now I'm here. Now I'm at this point in my life. So what can I? What do I need to be doing yeah. to get to where I want to get? Right. One of the things about healthcare um, that most people don't know, especially medicine, mm. it's a very expensive program to to build. Yeah. Because right? you need to build your hospitals, you need to build your healthcare systems. Okay, yeah. nursing. Now you still need to do. I, I think they call it. Think of it as practicals. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so those things are expensive to build. And so it takes time, especially if a school wants to start it. Mm -hmm. It takes time to exactly. Anita, what's inspiring your health option? Yes. I, I want to understand your because right from Sogakopa you kept asking whether Ashesi doesn't have any health courses, mm. and we are here now. I see you love the place, but you you still have your fingers on the health thing. What's inspiring your choice for midwifery and healthcare studies? Actually, I really have that passion for midwifery mm -hmm. and thinking of where I come from, mm. my home, and I didn't want to complete school and then be home and be looking for a job whilst okay. mom mm. alone Still sells her bullion yes, by the street. So. 
Okay. When we go back to, and I, I'll, I'll show you some stories, but one, one in particular that resonates with what you just shared is a story of a student who came, um, I think she's from Northern Ghana. Mm. And she studied engineering, but she also had the same passion for healthcare. Right. But she was focused on ma maternity. Right. Right. A lot of pe pe mothers lose their children in, in infancy. Labor. Okay. In infancy. Okay. Right. And especially from malaria. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know it, but malaria kills a lot of kids mm -hmm. in Ghana, especially children under five. Yeah. And so when she came and studied engineering, her goal was to build a device. So in parts of Ghana where these things typically happen, they don't have ready access to hospitals. So Obai area, if, if your child is sick, it's not very easy to get to a hospital, get them diagnosed, get them treated. Mm -hmm. And so she built, she called it an incubator slash crib. It's like a crib that can you can put your baby in it. It has mosquito netting, mm. okay. but it also monitors the vital statistics of the baby. Okay. Right, and communicates to another device. Is the baby doing okay? Is it detecting any uh, right. anomalies? So and then because it can of her, to the because of the knowledge she had exactly. gained here, she was able to build something yes. to yeah. save the lives of the young babies. Yes. So it's connecting wow. the knowledge she gained here to something she really cared about, which was healthcare. But she cared about maternity and, and how to help mothers. But you know one thing, I'm doing right. something is called Firefly. It's an equipment, they put babies who are born with joinies inside. Yeah. It does phototherapy. Yes. And it's very expensive. Yeah. So imagine if you could actually gain knowledge and build, build that it. firefly yourself and make it more affordable for exactly. the people in Sugakopa. What do you think about that? That's possible, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. You're, so you're saying by the time she was done with school, she was able to build that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. From the knowledge you gain yeah. here? Yeah, and I'll share her story with you. Wow. And a lot of them, I mean, there's one student, Maxwell, he built uh, artificial intelligence. So we can go inside? Yeah, we can go inside. inside. That can take a blood smear and yeah. detect ma malaria parasites in it. Wow. Right. You can 3D print the parts. Okay. You can build, program the boards that power it. And then you can build your own drone. So these things here. Thank you. All of this stuff. They are printed here. They are printed. And so the devices in the back are used to 3D print these parts. So these students, they have final you know, projects project. that they are working on. That's what they are doing. what is this? It's parts. I think someone was building a part. So, 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 you so you see the drone I was flying as you got copied? Ah, okay. It seems to me someone is trying to build a robot prototype. So they can print this stuff. They, they manufacture it here. this means there are a lot of hands-on things you can do for Sugako when you're done as an engineer. An engineer. You know, does that sound exciting? It's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back. Yeah. I'm in love with the Lisa Katai. Yeah. This, this is a teacher now. Listen, she says she's in love with the Lisa Katai. Wow. This is a what? The teacher now. So <laughs> this, that's what they use on Lisa. They use the Lisa. So this was done, done in here. Mm. And then the students just attach it themselves. Whoa. Right. And so it's a mix of love for projects but also for teachers. So the professor needs to teach. Be at the front. So it, it's clear to me, I think there are about two weeks to the end of the semester, and this, so these students seem like they are working on projects. So look at how much of it. So, so things like this, all of this, they, they can cut it so that so all of this is built here as part of class projects. This thing, students built it themselves. The as part of the car projects? As, the, as part of school projects. Okay. 
So one of the things that you find is very different about Chelsea is that it's a very handsome <laughs> institution. Instead of a lot of medium, the textbook, you are required to actually build things. Design and build things, take something and manufacture it. Right? <coughs> I realize also that very often, Chelsea students have some wild network. Like by the time they are done, right. they know people in every part of the world. Mm. How does that help you? And they're able to pull like big projects in the millions. Mm. But sometimes you only hear of like international corporations or even government institutions. I think it's do. a. Chelsea students are able to do that. Did, did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> no. So by the time you're done with school, you know people from all over the world. Like, and you have access yeah. to like yeah. a lot of. Yeah. influential people how does that happen um i think it's a mix of first of all it's a mix of the people that the university engages with mm. if you're still at the HSA, a lot of people are coming into your classroom to yeah. talk to you about what the world looks like what exists out in the world mm. <clears throat> and students are also going in all sorts of directions yeah. right working in in nigeria working in kenya working in the uk working in the us working in Ghana. And see, the more you have people going around the world that way, the stronger your network is. So if you take you, Anita, and you come into a class of 300 other people, mm. by the time you are done, you've formed these friendships. Mm. Yeah. So when you leave Ashesi, you have a network that spans all the places that your friends are, are going, right? And so when you're trying to build, do a project, work on a project, build something, start a company, mm. raise funding, all those people are now allies that mm. you can rely on, mm. right? So if you take, take your story, Caleb put something on Facebook, uh, another Shesse person comments on it and shares it with me and mm. says, hey, have you seen this story? And so then Caleb and I have a conversation, we are here, right? You see how it works? Yeah. It's the same way it works when you're a student here. And in fact, a lot of other universities foster mm. this. But at Ashesi, because we are not 500,000 students, yeah. it's a very high impact, high intimacy community. So you know people yeah. fairly well by the time you're leaving. There are people who have come through um, very similar situations to yours, who are now like in a completely different pathway. Right? You need to believe in your ability to accomplish yourself. I saw you smiling when you saw the Kaya story and all that. Yeah. How do you feel now? Mm -hmm. Do you see yourself here? I want you to see. Look at I just see that I thought I was being scammed. So I went down to These are all scholarship recipients. Thanks, Tim. I've never heard about it. When I went there, I thought we were in a different place. I thought, ah, are we still in Ghana? I thought, so. Yes. I was surprised that this place. Yes. 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 What would you do here? All games. All games? I'll do all yes. games. Yeah, I'll play all games. So we have a football league. We yeah. have men's football, women's football. Yo! Um, and then we have basketball league as well. There's a men's See, there's Bougainville on the edges, man. You know Bougainville? No. Oh, that's Bougainville. No. That's not what it is. Ah, okay. Jules, but look at that. Incroyable. In Humble? Yes, three. So we will soon find out whether you choose between Ashesi and you has, right? But how do you feel being here? Like, what's the feeling like? It's good. I've learned a lot. What's the environment like? The environment is okay. Yeah. It's conducive. Yeah. Everything is nice. Uh -huh. I would like to study here. Oh my god, who do not want to? Uh. Okay, so like all too soon, like I'm sad, like we are done. You know, we have to be leaving, but so you're saying that what do you have for Anita? Should it happen that maybe we want to do uh, computer science, 
business something management, the one you mentioned. Business administration. Business administration. Hey, just say, we're not going to cost you Yeah, you're yeah, shocked, you're yeah, shocked, you're going to be a fish. <laughs> so, like, we'll get back to him, right? Yeah. Whether or not you choose a chassis or you want to do midwifery, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Have you decided already? I'm not Sam Caleb. Have you decided already? I want some time to think about it. Some time. Okay, fine. Absolutely. Um, but should we That's choose smart. a chassis, for example, what will be up for Anita Diabolo seller with a mission? So, so I think um, based on you said you did general arts at Pando, mm -hmm. uh, I think you know you could apply to the computer science program, the business administration program, or the management information systems program. And when you apply, you also apply for a scholarship, right? And so uh, all our scholarships, unlike other places, our scholarships are all driven by need. So we don't give scholarships because you were this, you had six A's or whatever in high school. Wow. We give scholarships to support people who otherwise cannot afford, right? The whole point of the scholarships is to allow opportunity access for all. all right. So if unlike VSHS, <laughs> if, if you can pay, we don't we don't give you a scholarship. Right. Because right? you those who, who, who cannot pay. And so when you apply, you apply for the scholarship, the admissions team is going to give you the and the way Ashesi works, we'll also call you for an interview. Okay. Right. So someone on the admission team is going to call you to talk to you, get right. to know who you are, right. what are your ambitions. So there'll be counseling essentially. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll walk you through. Wow. So the, the whole idea is sometimes the student you meet on paper is very different from the student you meet in person. Right? And so just because someone has written something on paper, you can't make a complete judgment of that person just by what you see on paper. So the admissions team really tries to go out of their way to also meet the applicant. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching this. We'll be in again to see the progress of this story. I hope you found it useful. My name is Caleb. If you love what you've seen, please subscribe, like, share, all those things. But we'll bring you more content on Anita and many more. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.